So it'll be second and five. Back to pass. Grissett, four receivers, and he will run up and try and make a move. He will break one tackle. 45, midfield, near sideline, out of bounds. And knocked out by number two of Kentucky State, Bernard Crawford. Nice scramble by Grissett. And that's one thing we know he can do is run with the ball. He was able to break one tackle and get outside and pick up a first down. Yeah, one thing I like for Grissett to do when he makes up his mind to run, go ahead and tote, tote that ball away. Two tight end formation, one back and hit in the backfield. What a big play hit, number 91, jailbreak. He got through there. Brandon Glenton, six feet, 273 pound junior from Atlanta, met the back in the backfield, lost of three yards back at the 15. Big defense. That's a play. big play right there. So first and 10 now, Rams at the Albany State 40 yard line. Cooey back to pass here on first down. He's going to run it and throw it the last minute. He hits the receiver, Bellinger. He will get the first down and into thoroughbred territory. And that was a good little move there by Cooey. Looks like to everybody he was going to run it. The last minute he decided to uh, get it out to Bellinger and he will get the first down. Nice little play. Yeah, Cooey looking like he was going to run, brought the defender up and that opened up his receiver, Bellinger, for the nice completion. And Hoyt, the tailback, on first and goal from the eight. He will hand off on a little stretch run to Hoyt, trying to cut it, and he will get in the end zone. Touchdown, eight-yard run to the touchdown. And I don't know how he was able to break through there, but Hoyt is going to put the Rams up 6-0. Coach Massey, what happened on that run? I'm looking at the screen here. He had a bunch of folks there dang tackling him, at least four, and they all let him go. He did a good job of keeping his balance and scored a touchdown. He might have even put one hand down to keep his balance. Cooey in the shotgun. Hoyt back there as a running back. He wants to pass. Cooey pumps. He rotates to the right, looks downfield. Now he's going to run the ball, and he will run to the sideline, oh. hit hard. And out of bounds, and no flag. The crowd, you can hear the woos that time as Cooey took a big shot, knocked out of bounds, almost right there in front of Bill Denson. I don't know if he got out of the way. I think he's not on the ground, so Bill able to get out of the way. Our cameraman down there on the Rams sideline. Cooey is going to get five yards, 35-yard field goal as the freshman kicker. He was two for two last week. Fontaine high snap. Kick is up high enough, long enough. And... It is good, so the field goal is good. The Rams increase the lead. Albany State on the 35-yard field goal by Fontaine is Rams 10. Thoroughbreds nothing. It's time for Tubbs to make a play, see if they throw to him. Back to pass, Cooey. He flips it out there. He's wide open. Touchdown. We called it. 18 called yards. It. And a little fade over the top. Running Tubbs pulls in his first touchdown of the year, and it's about time. It's about time, and we saw it all the way. We saw it to play before. Your final score. The Albany State University Golden Rams win the Chicago Football Classic by three points, 17 to 14, over the Kentucky State University Thoroughbreds. Congratulations Woo! to Coach Mike White and the Golden Rams. Two and three is a record now as we move to Macon, Georgia, next week.